you pack hundreds of years of racism, sexism, and misogyny into just four letters? Huh, well, that sounds like a pretty tall order. C-U-C-K. If you've been online recently, you might have noticed the word cuck being thrown around a lot. Yeah, I have, honestly. And I think people should, you know, really slow down on using the word cuck. I know they really like it because it's like a new or relatively new insult that they can toss around, but eventually it will start to lose its weight and people will no longer feel the bite that comes with the word cuck. You guys should really slow down on it. It's going to end up becoming like bitch and, and people are just going to end up calling themselves cucks to make themselves feel better. Let's not have that happen. Let's just, you know, let's bring it back a couple of steps, okay? Cuck is a nice insult, but let's not, let's not, let's not blow it all away in the first year of its, you know, mainstream conception. Okay, guys? Can we? No? Well, I fucking tried. Not to be confused with that male chicken. No, that, that's, that's cock. I don't know if that's supposed to be a joke or if you, if you really didn't know that. I don't know. If you're a man who identifies as a feminist, cuck. Don't like Donald Trump? Cuck! Yeah, it does seem to, yeah, yeah. Someone who likes a certain MTV web series host that you don't like? Cuck! Ah, oh, well, somebody's feelings have been hurt. To understand the history of cuck, look no further than its two delightfully intertwined components, misogyny and racism. How? How? How on God's great green earth is the word cuck misogynistic against one? How? How? How could you possibly come to that conclusion? I don't even, I can't even. You've turned me into a 16 year old white girl cause I can't fucking even Francesca. A nigga, a nigga could fall on the street and scrape his knee and you would still say that that's misogyny against women. I, I don't even, how did you even come to that conclusion? Key ingredients in America's favorite sh sandwich. Now, before we get into Cuck's modern usage, we have to go all the way back to the innocent cuckoo bird. Cuckoo birds commonly lay their eggs in other birds' nests and leave them there to be raised. During the Middle Ages, that otherwise benign bird became a symbol for a husband with an unfaithful wife. I don't think you understand what the word benign means. You do know that the, the hatchling cuckoo bird like literally, and this isn't a joke, you guys can look videos of this up online. They literally take the eggs of the actual bird's nest they were laid in, and they will throw them out of the fucking nest so they will, so they die. That's not, that's not benign, they're, they're pretty terrible creatures, if I do say so myself. From cuckoo came cuckold, which literally means a man whose wife has slept with another man and then raises a child who is not his. Long before guys on Reddit got a hold of the phrase, cuckolds were a staple in English literature. Shakespeare loved to use men's fear of becoming a cuckold as a plot point. Yeah, I know, man. It's a, it's a serious fear. Could you imagine investing resources into this creature for 20 plus years only to find out this entire time it didn't even belong to you? No one, no one likes that. I mean, women don't have to deal with that shit because they like carry their child for like nine months, but with men, they don't know. Well, we do now because, you know, Maury Povich and all that, but before, like, they, they, they couldn't know. And since a lot of people at least claim that human beings are, are, you know, really, really obsessed with spreading their genes, you know, finding out that your literal life's purpose, you know, the reason why you exist as an organism has been subverted because you trusted a woman when you shouldn't have is painful. It's not really something to make light of. Like, cuckoldry is a pretty shitty and terrible thing to do to somebody. Like, really, it really is. It's not even a joke. It, Cuckolds even happen in rap music. Take Kanye West's Gold Digger. 18 years, 18 years, and on her 18th birthday, he found out it wasn't his. Ugh. That's a fatality to the heart. That shit hurt my feelings, and I didn't, I've never even had children. Oh my goodness. Over time, the shortened version of the word cuck became more common. And that's likely because of two of America's favorite pastimes. Those don't you dare fucking say racism and misogyny. Racism and pornography. Well, yeah, one for two, I guess. Cuckold, or cuck, became used to refer to a genre of porn where husbands, usually white, watch their wives have sex with another man, usually black. Not only is she cheating on you, but she's cheating with a man who's perceived as racially inferior. Uh, yeah, Francesca, I don't think you really understand the, 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 the path of cuckoldry. From what I understand from my research, um, looking into this cuckold fetish, because I, I meant to make a video about it one day, but I never got around to it. 
Uh, I can say two things. One, in terms of cuckoldry, it does seem consistent that it is a lot of white men who are being cucked by bigger, stronger black men. That does seem to be a constant theme, which isn't to say that that's the only way to cuckold. It isn't to say that black men never be, get cuckolded. But what I can say is I've never seen a black man get cuckolded, but I have primarily only seen white men, you know, participate in this fetish. Again, it doesn't mean that it's only a white man thing. It, it, it doesn't, but that's just what I've seen. So I can understand why how anyone could come to that conclusion, because that's all I've seen as well. However, that being said, the, 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 the key to cuckold you, the reason why these men cuckold themselves is because they're emotional masochists. Um, the reason why they like watching their wives have sex with bigger, stronger black men is not because they believe the black men to, to be inferior to them. That, that wouldn't make any fucking sense, because it, it undermines the, the, the masochism. The, the reason why they, they enjoy is because they think the black man is stronger than them. They have a bigger dick, they're bigger overall, they're taller, they're stronger, they can you know, give the pleasure to their wife that their, their wife can't get. I mean, it's an incredibly disgusting behavior, I'll just, just all around. Uh, but um, that's why. The, it's, it's not because they think the black man is inferior, it's ironically because they think he's superior. So I guess you could, you know, make the case that that's racism against, you know, your own whiteness. You could. That that could be a case. However, it's 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 not whatever the fuck you're saying, Francesca. It's, it's the literal opposite of that. But what leads many guys to use the term isn't just its racist undertones, but, surprise, rampant sexism. How on God's great green earth is letting your wife have sex with another man misogynistic against her? Like, I, he... If the man is the one in the emotional pain, if the man is the one who is suffering by nature of the fucking fetish, that's 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 its purpose. How does how does that translate to hatred of women? How how do you come to that conclusion? A, a, a man could fall off of a fucking bridge, and you could still say that somehow he hates women. Ah, uh, he should have been paying attention to the road. Fucking misogynist. <laughs> that's what this shit sounds like to me. <laughs> You know, go go on, Francesca. I, I, I really want to see how you came to this conclusion. Now, if you really want to know where the modern usage of cuck comes from, remember that pickup artist scene from the early 2000s? Oh, oh, so we were just, we we're just gonna pretend that that didn't happen. Okay, okay, I just, okay, you know, just gonna fucking, yeah. All right, Francesca, let's just completely ignore that point. It's not like I was looking forward to it. That mystery guy? I mean, it's better if you don't, but we gotta talk about it. The pickup artist community's main goal was to teach socially awkward men how to lure women using a variety of manipulative techniques. Pause. Lure women? I don't, I don't like your, your diction here, Francesca. We have to pretend that women, you know, weren't attracted to these guys or some shit. That these women had no agency in this, in this transaction. Like, they didn't pick these niggas to have sex with. Because that's all pickup artistry is. It's just transforming into the creature that women want to have sex with. That is, the, that is all pickup artistry revolves around. In fact, if you're upset with the tactics of pickup artists, you, you, you actually have to be upset with the reactions from women because... These niggas only do what works. And... So when it comes to men, pickup artists like to divide them into alphas and betas. An alpha is a guy who totally gets all the sexy desires because his controlling and dominant personality is so attractive to women. Yeah, see, I've noticed this is a problem a lot of people have on the internet. They seem to think if they repeat a talking point in a sarcastic or facetious way, then that means it's wrong or it's a rebuttal somehow. Oh! You think that the sky is blue? Wow! Yes, nigga, the sky is blue. <laughs> you think lions eat zebras? Yes, nigga, lions eat zebras. <laughs> you think women are attracted to strong, dominant type men? Yes, nigga, women are attracted to strong, dominant... It doesn't... You can say that point in a ridiculous manner six ways to Sunday. It doesn't make it wrong. That was sarcasm, by the way. I, I picked up on it. I, I didn't really need you to explain it to me. Meanwhile, a beta is a guy who's too nice to be an alpha. It, pause. More accurately, he's too passive to be an, an alpha. It's not really so much that alphas aren't kind or they can't be kind. It's that they're not passive. They don't, they don't let bullshit fly. Where a beta would. 
Now, to be completely honest, alpha and beta aren't really terms that I think are wholly accurate to describe human beings, because mostly alpha and betas exist in a familial spectrum. What would really be more accurate is in a family unit, the man, you know, who makes the most money and is responsible for protecting people would be the alpha, and the beta would actually be the wife, because she has to, you know, control everything in the lower echelon of the house and taking care of the children. That would, that would really be the most accurate way to use alpha and beta, because that's how they are used even in, like, a wolf pack. So, really, no, alpha and beta in terms of how men relate to each other isn't really accurate. The only reason I ever use the term alpha and beta is because people have an understanding of what traits I'm referring to. However, in terms of accuracy, they're, they're not really the best words to use. Being taught to respect women is referred to as betafying, and a beta is also often referred to as, you guessed it, a cuck. Well, in my personal experience, trying to be respectful of women and like treating them like you're, like your friends and being nice and kind to them is like, it's like the opposite of what they want. Now, here's another thing, which is a fun fact I've noticed, that there are a breed of women that are like so lonely and so depressed and self-hatred is just rooted in the core of their being that they actually do appreciate nice people. I meant to talk about this breed of women, at least at some point in the future, but they they exist. Just the sad thing is, you do you heard what I just said, right? About the way these women view themselves. They're not they're not happy people, so they're not really individuals that you should try to date. I'm just I'm just saying. Essentially, to call someone a cuck is to imply that they aren't a real or strong man. You know, this is actually a really good example of how you can have completely faulty and somewhat stupid premises and still come to the correct conclusion. It's really interesting, actually, how philosophy works. But she's right, that is basically how the word cuck is used, so. If there's only one way to be a man. You know what, Francesca? There are lots of ways of being a man. Watching your wife have sex with people you think are better than you is not one of them. I refuse to ever accept that as any hallmark of masculinity. You can get that shit all the way the fuck out of here. Bye. See you later. Goodbye. Adios. Go away. Oh my god. Masculinity is so fragile. Yeah, but it's only fragile because of... There's no real delicate way to put this. Because of what women desire and what women want. It's really interesting and sad at the same time that a lot of men base the way they feel around the pleasures of women. Including that whole cuckoldry thing that we're talking about as well. Do you know why the cuckold enjoys watching his wife have sex with other men? Because it makes her feel better. Because it's for her pleasure, that's why. I fail to see how this man is misogynistic against women when he's allowing another guy to have sex with his wife. So she gets off sexually. I just... I just... I just want to know. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering how you, you know, came up with that bullshit. In many ways, Trump has become the ideal alpha for many men. And that's sad. His ability to succeed not in spite of, but because of his arrogant and sexist behavior is, sadly, inspirational to them. Okay, great. Moving on. So why do people even like to say cuck so much? Because of power. To call someone a cuck is an attempt to wield power over them. It implies they're weak and cowardly, not strong and brave like the person slinging insults from their computer screen. That was also sarcasm. Yeah, no fucking shit, Francesca. You know, there is a level of sarcasm you can obtain to where even everyone around you has no idea that you're actually being sarcastic. Like, you can reach that level, okay? But you haven't reached that level. No shit, Francesca! But is it even an effective insult? Yeah, currently it is. It's actually pretty effective, considering the fact that you've made a video trying to debunk it and trying to make these cucks feel better about themselves. Maybe, if upholding white supremacy and hypermasculinity is important to you. To you. Otherwise, eh. Cuck becomes a lot less powerful when you realize its racist and sexist origins. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, it doesn't. No, not really. I mean, honestly, if you're a weak-willed man and and you feel good when your your feelings are hurt, that is nothing to be proud of. And it doesn't matter how racist you think Cuck is. It doesn't matter how sexist. If anything, Cuck is, is sexist against men. I mean, truly, truly, Cuck is sexist against men if it's saying you're not worthy enough of a woman, so you have to let some other guy have sex with her. 
I mean, you would think that the bull in that situation is misandric against other men because he doesn't care about the fact that he's just destroyed his relationship or he's fucked up their relationship. That's not, I don't see how on God's great green earth you come to the conclusion that being a cuckold means you hate women or saying cuck is a problem against women, especially if it's just an insult directed at men. Like, like, I don't even understand. This doesn't make any sense. Everything is sexist against women. I mean, the sky could fall tomorrow, man. And you would say that God hates women because he destroyed the world that they lived on. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Like most insults, Cuck says a lot more about the person using it than the person being called one. You know, most of the times I would absolutely agree with that sentiment, but this is actually the one rare case where I don't think that that's the case. And I'm not just saying it to be, you know, a, a contrarian, but I truly and genuinely mean that if you get called a cuck, more often than not, it's because you're displaying weak, almost effeminate characteristics. And I think, if anything, cuck is more of a calling card to try to inspire men to change and be different and not allow themselves to be run over by the will of other individuals. I think that's the objective, at least. Well, that's the end of her video, and subsequently, the end of mine. I'm still not entirely sure how on God's great green earth she came to the conclusion that cuck is somehow sexist against women. If anything, I think the woman is like sexist against men since she's putting men against each other in order to make herself feel better. But that's assuming, of course, that, you know, the woman at least thought that far ahead. You know, she was thinking at least more outside of her vagina. But I might be asking too much with some of these women that participate in this disgusting behavior. And I'll tell you, God, honest truth, man, like, there are very few things that I really have a, a strong, harsh opinion about that I'm unyielding on. And one of those things is cuckoldry. It is a very disgusting fetish, a very disgusting phenomenon that honestly no man should have to go through or put himself through. And I'm talking about cuckoldry in, in both contexts. I mean, having to raise another man's child is one of the worst things in the world. And for anyone else who's on some bullshit and saying, like, I mean, you know, you gotta spend your resources on a child and everything, it's not yours. But, I mean, you still raise the kid for no benefit of your own. I mean, you know what? Who cares? You know, you still raise the child. But, but, but I have to ask you a very important question. Here's a serious question. Would you go cut someone else's lawn and obtain no benefit from it at all? Like, this, not your friend's lawn, not, not your dad's lawn, not your brother's lawn. Would you just go out and just cut people's grass just because you felt like it? No? Well, alright then. If you wouldn't go cut someone's grass, which might take 20 to 30 fucking minutes, I don't see how you can be fine with a man raising another kid's child for 18 fucking years. I don't... I don't see how you could come to that conclusion. And second, I mean, just watching, you know, just being such a masochist that you, you, you watch your wife have sex with other men to hurt your own feelings, it's just sad. It is a really sad problem that should be addressed. It's not really something that I think is healthy at all in any capacity. So, I mean, if you are a cuckold man, please get that shit checked out. It's, it, I do not think that that's healthy in any way, shape, or form at all. So, with that being said, man, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click the like button. And that's you. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. As always, you guys have yourselves a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.